guys welcome to another cake topper tutorial with me jewels of chef j's piece of cake and i make cakes for the brand j cup of cakes so in here we'll be making a very very cute cake topper and that is a storm trooper cake topper as you can see in here i am showing you the finished product and we will be making its head first so as you can see this head is made from a two inch styrofoam ball if you want it to make uh, to make it bigger then go ahead as long as you have the base um, procedure you can actually make it bigger okay so when it comes to making cake toppers one essential thing that you have to consider is its weight that's why in cake decorating we really use um, either styrofoam ball or rice krispies but in here I want to make use of a styrofoam ball because the head is bigger than its body so when it comes to the foundation of course you really need to make it very light so what i did was is i cut a piece from the bottom of my spherical ball just to make it flat because as you will notice the helmet of stormtrooper darth vader r2d2 isn't actually a spherical shape but kind of a half capsule shape helmet so that's actually what i did in here then afterwards, I need um, I flattened out a white fondant, made a square, cut it out, and made a sausage type of fondant, and then surrounded it only uh, there at the sides and also at the back part because the front part will be making its nose. So in here, you will need a triangle-shaped thick fondant. And then afterwards, you will need to put an edible glue all around the shape that you did. Okay, so you need to cover it up with edible glue just to make sure that once you cover the white fondant afterwards, it will actually be okay. Alright, so as you can see in here, you can use this for Darth Vader, so also for R2-D2. So every time I try to make um, a character, I try to make it a point that it's very useful. So I make tutorials for useful characters that you can actually just not make for one character, but also it's a base for other characters as well. Okay. So at least you can ha you can also visualize it. And every time you make a cake topper, I would suggest that you can um, do a lot of research for it. You also have to check what is the base shape. It's just like when it comes to drawing, um, because when you draw, you actually have shapes, and then afterwards, from from the shapes, you can put already the small the small details in there. And then you can actually see it come into what character you would like it to be, right? So in here, what I did was I already covered it with white fondant and I locked it up using my hands or any cake decorating tool that you have in there. You don't need it to be neat because it's not actually going to be seen, but if you're the OC type, then go ahead. Okay, and then if you have dents on your cake topper, don't be scared as long as your marshmallow fondant is pliable. You can also use gum paste in there, but uh, in my own preference, I love my marshmallow fondant. So I have my own. It, it's actually from a couple of recipes that I combined, mix and match, and then I already made my own. That's that's how I, I have my... That's how I developed my marshmallow fondant through the years. So it's actually made from a lot of trial and errors. So next up, we'll be making the mouthpiece of the Stormtrooper, as you can see. Okay, so it's practically a big triangle. So in, for you to be able to make that, I don't have any molds with me, but you can actually make your own once you get to practice your stormtrooper cake topper so in there you don't have to make it like very perfect triangle but you have to make it 
wide like the legs you have to make it really wide okay because you will be covering um, the front part and also the sides of the helmet okay so use your edible glue to glue it and then cover it already making sure that your hands are actually very gentle when it comes to molding gentle hands are really needed when it comes to molding fondant figures or any kind of figures and also sculpting of course okay so as you can see in there i've already covered it and then i'm just adjusting so when it comes to molding of course you always need to double check to triple check always checking if you are actually making the shape perfect so you have to ensure that you press the right parts and in case you miss or you make a mistake as long as your marshmallow fondant is pliable then you won't have any problems so next up is we are going to make the mouthpiece of your stormtrooper so if you will notice uh i think the modern stormtroopers i think they have a more minimalist um attire in uh, like from the movie because i noticed that from google there are a lot of costumes um the stormtrooper has so i'm not actually sure but i chose the ones that i like because when it comes to cake decorating you actually like the ones that, that are more detail oriented so i chose this i'm not sure which stormtrooper the um this one is but in case your client is actually very particular when it comes to the character then i think you have to really um do your research when it comes to making your character from um in my case my client wants a stormtrooper like a generic stormtrooper so i was the one who chose what design for the stormtrooper based from google that i like okay so next up is i cut out a small fondant strip this is for the nose of the stormtrooper so you have to put it on the helmet like so then you will be adding three dots on each side okay then later you will be um, seeing me putting black food gel in there okay so next up is I'm going to be making the back part of the helmet so you just need your template so it, it it is shaped like a bread toast so you can do that um, you can do that uh, from any kind of material as long as it's volume uh, food grade paper and then glue it already it's for the back part of your stormtrooper helmet so using your edible glue go ahead and paste it okay making sure that you lock it and it's well protected and in case there there are any air bubbles you can just use a thin needle and pop it out okay so once in a while of course guys you have to check your molded um, figure or any dilapidations so you have to make some adjustments go ahead and do so all right and when it comes to cake decorating tools I would really advise you to buy the good ones um, the ones you are actually um, comfortable in using not too small not too big but very perfect for your hands there are a lot out there mine as you can see there um, it's actually from Wilton it's like 10 years old already and ever since that is that is what I'm using and I'm used to it I have new ones but I'm not I'm not that comfortable when it comes to using it maybe because I'm already like um, my, my hands are already into the ones that I used ever since okay and you have to be creative when it comes to your cake decorating tools like you can actually have the most expensive one but if it's not useful then it's a waste of money so for me you just buy what you need so i will also be making like an episode on the cake decorating tools that you can actually use the startup tools that you can use okay and if you are in a budget you can actually check out lazada shopee and also your your um the nearest 
craft supply shop that we have in there in your city okay so next up is for the helmet I actually made a small strip right it's for the nose and then afterwards we made the toast already and now we are going to make the eyes so the eyes you need to make um, it's actually a square fondant cutter and then you cut it in the middle okay so it's actually for the eyes and then you will see in there I will be putting some indentation for the black triangles to be placed so that is the inner part of the eyes okay so there just make sure that you have enough space okay for the black triangle fondant cut out that you do okay and then you can do some adjustments if it's too big all right okay and then using your exacto knife just adjust it okay as you can see and the next up we are going to add more details for your storm trooper okay so i actually made another cake topper for um like a darth vader character i think it's not darth vader i forgot the name of the character but there but um it's also based from this shape so i didn't have a hard time trying to visualize how to make it so this is actually a good tutorial that you can do for your next order okay so now i am adding the square shaped fondant cutouts and i am just adding it okay and then just glue it all together making sure that if the other side has one most definitely the other side also has the same detail okay so for cutting out fondant i would suggest you using cutter um, cutter blades because they are very sharp and it will really help you um have uh perfect cutouts when it comes to your fondant but make sure that every time you use it it's actually disposable because based from experience once i use it and then i try to clean it and and if i keep it the next time i use it it already has dirt so you can't use it already you try to cover it with um wrap it with paper before you throw it out okay and then you have to make use of a new one so in there i am already fit i am almost finished with the topper i'm just adjusting and adding more details for it okay there all right so you just have to make some other adjustments for cake topper so as you can see i am adding more details removing some parts adjusting it so you you really need to have it printed out um, of your design of your cake topper that you wish to make in my case i have my printed and also i have my phone so i have my phone with me because i have to ensure the colors are right because it's actually different when it comes to printed material versus the ones that you have on your phone so they're so they're different the colors are more vivid when it comes to your phone so you better um get the right colors of course okay so you need to add more dots in there so also they're side by side so if the left part has it most probably the right part also has it and then you just also need to clean when it comes to um black fondant it's for me it's hard to handle most especially when it comes to like humid or 
wet weather. In my case, I live in the Philippines, so it's actually just rainy season and sunny season. So it's really hard to adjust. But through the years, it's been our lifestyle. So we made our own adjustments, of course. Sometimes, like when I check out other cake decorating tutorials from other countries, like I always see that it's like really perfect and it's and you really need to consider this when it comes to molding and using your fondant for cake decorating. Okay, so next is I am cleaning out the details of my stormtrooper, and as you can see, when it comes to cake toppers or um, having designs that require uh, white and black fondant you really need to be careful because once you like make a mistake uh, when you use the black fondant on top of the white fondant it will really smudge and you have to clean it out first before you start all over again so in here I am adding some circle okay some round cutouts for the back part of the helmet of the stormtrooper and adding a smaller black round fondant cutout okay and adding more details to it just to make it more realistic of course okay and as you can see in there i am cleaning it out so it's really hard for me and you will also notice my hands are are black there are some black parts of it so it's hard like when you have a cake decorator's hand <laughs> like your hands are really always dirty and you have to make sure that before you go out or even if like you are doing a lot of colors for your fondant and like you go out it's hard because you need to always explain it to your friends or like to other people because they might think that your hand your, your hands are just really dirty so so sometimes like it's really funny because I like my friends they know that that I just got out of, uh, from work if my hands are really dirty and there are a lot of like, rainbow colors okay so in here I am making the body already of the stormtrooper and as much as possible I try to think of ways on how to simplify a cake topper um, when it comes to the body parts because I like to make use a lot of my time to do other things, of course. So when it comes to molding characters, I know it really is time consuming. But you also have to consider your energy when it comes to baking your cake, finishing your cake. Because it's not just your cake topper that you need to think about, but also the other things. That's why when it comes to cake decorating, it's actually art that you are also buying, not just a cake. Right. right guys so next is we are going to make its legs there and then afterwards you will be seeing the arms and then we will be also putting some indentation so so just to make it like more robotic so that's what I did okay and then this uh, the body of the stormtrooper is basically smaller than its head. That's why I would really suggest for you to make your head as light as possible. So you can make this, like if your cake is bigger, then go ahead and make use of a bigger um, styrofoam ball. But if your, cake, if your cake topper is really huge, then I would suggest for the body to be also in styrofoam. But you need to have a good um, cut out, like a good cutter when it comes to making the body. And then just you just have to cover it in fondant. But in my case, my cake in here is actually just 6 inches in diameter. And then I made two kinds of stormtroopers, like they are side by side. And then on top is, uh, it's not Darth Vader, but I think it's Rilo Ken. I'm not sure if the character is right. So in here, I'm just adding a lot of um, other black fondant cutouts just to make it more realistic and more Stormtrooper-like. And then adding some indentations and also just for the shoes, it's also white. So I just made 
like a ball, cut it in half, and glue it all together. So there. You can already see your stormtrooper coming to life. So, okay, so as you can see, I hope that this actually can help you do um, a lot of basic shapes for other characters as you can see you can also make this for other robot type of characters not just your stormtrooper of course okay so i'm adding circle cutouts and then making it as the sole the base for my shoes and then adding more indentations for my stormtrooper okay. so when you are making like uh, more than one cake topper and I know that it will be more time consuming when it comes to that uh, I would suggest for you to make it like part by part like for example if you are making the head first and go ahead and make the head first make the cutouts already and then cut out all the styrofoam balls already so you so i i wouldn't suggest for you to make like one character at a time for me if you have like more than one character that you want to make like for example five or more than uh three or more i would suggest for you to make it all at once all the parts and then just glue it all together because in that way you can make a more uniformed um, cake toppers for your cake or if you have more than one cake like you have the same design right so that is what i can advise for you to do because i noticed before but every time i try to mold like um the same character for example i need to make like five characters of the same um shape so i try to finish one character and then like move on to the next but i realize it doesn't really look good unlike uh when i make it like all at once i can see the difference i can adjust accordingly so that is what i noticed so that's what i'm i've been doing for for so long already and also cake decorating you you need to, to develop your skills um yes it's it's also part talent but for me when it comes to the detail of uh, the detailed part like if you really want to become more detailed you just need to practice that's all you need like in, in my case like i realized if i don't practice my skills i tend to forget or i don't like hone it so this is one reason why i made this channel because i want to like also remind myself on how to make that topper because every time i try to make a cake once again i tend to forget like the parts that i i made and then and then i just realized that i can actually make a channel where i can also watch it like once i have another order for it right so it's easier for me to remember the things that i did before Okay, so it's almost done. The last part that we need to be doing is the hands, of course. And in here, you will see the basic hands um, molding that I am going to make. So you just need a ball, cut it in half, make it a ball again, press one side. So that is the left and the right. So just cut it out. That is the thumb. okay and afterwards you can cut once again for the other characters you can just leave it there as is you don't need to have fingers actually it's also cute if you don't have fingers but in my case i wanted to have figure uh fingers okay so i just try to measure it and add it press it so it will be more rounded than squarish okay and then afterwards i will just need some toothpick for it okay and then we'll be making the gun and it's easy to make the gun because like it's not a stormtrooper if the stormtrooper doesn't have a gun because like in in the movie the like 
They're, they are soldiers. Okay, so that's what I did. But I added toothpick in there. I'm just showing you how the placement should be. Okay, so that's the last part. That's the last part. So we are already making the gun. So you just also need to make a rectangular shape fondant and then do a letter L cut out. And then the, just do some indentations, put small um, round fondant cutouts, and then that's it. You can already make your own Stormtrooper cake topper. I hope you guys have fun with this one. And I hope you can share it with me. There, so you also need another toothpick for the front part. And then since the Stormtrooper's gun is long, you need another toothpick. And then another like small sausage there and just combine it all together and glue it with your edible glue okay so there and then you have your stormtrooper with its gun and they are ready to roll Okay, so I hope you guys are enjoying and knowing like new things here in my channel. So in case you have any other ideas that you want to know more about like new cake toppers, new cake decorating techniques, let me know down below. Please comment and I would be very happy to answer you. Okay, so this is actually what the finished Stormtrooper cake topper looks like. So you just have to glue your gun. And then right before we pierce through a barbecue stick in it, we have to make sure that everything is in place. Okay, so also guys, when you are piercing through a barbecue stick, you need to make sure that you are using the, the part where it's really sharp. And then you need to um, like do a motion like like a round motion like a screwdriver like you are doing it like a screwdriver type there as you can see i'm doing that just to ensure that i won't destroy the figure that i just did because you know it took me a lot of time just to finish this okay so also for your cake topper you need to let it dry if you're using fondant, of course, with Tylos, you, you need to use fondant with Tylos when it comes to molding your characters. Or if you're like using gum paste, then it's easier for you to let your character harden. In my case, I have to let it um, rest for a couple of hours just to ensure that everything is in place. Okay, so enjoy guys. I hope you learn something new and i will see you on my next video